guys so we're not gonna stay on base today we are going off naturally um, yesterday we we went off base also oh it's kind of breezy out here too guys uh, so yesterday we walked, um, you know, it's about eight, I think. And so it was a little different out here. And uh, I hadn't taken my medication yet. When I wake up in the mornings, uh, my blood pressure is already high. So um, there are some things that I do to kind of lower it before I uh, take my medication. And, uh, I, well, one of the things that I do is I drink a glass of water. Um, you know, I'm, I'm working up to two or three glasses of water, but for right now, it's only one glass of water. And supposedly, that's what you're supposed to do. Um, drink water as soon as you wake up. That was new to me. So I'm trying some new things. I hope that you guys cannot hear this breeze that's blowing. <laughs> I am not walking that fast, but it's Definitely, I can hear it in my ear. I get, uh, oh, this wind. <laughs> well, you know, I'm gonna stick my Bluetooth in a little bit, my little earbuds in a little bit better so that, uh, well, I do like to, I do like to hear what's going on around me, which is why. I wear my, you know, my little earbuds loosely because I can hear people coming up behind me. <coughs> wow, it's really nice out here today. Beautiful, beautiful fall weather. This is, this is like textbook. Yeah, textbook weather. You know, the trees of all lost all their leaves or getting ready to and uh, this cool crisp air and it's Saturday morning everybody is probably warm snug in their little in their little beds or whatever so uh, yeah totally totally uh, totally sorry I'm, I'm looking back to see 
what's going on down here. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm thankful for today. I am, I really am. This morning. I didn't, you know what, last night, uh, I decided I was going to um, learn how to make, you know, one of those fancy uh, channel introductions that I see on YouTube. So, you know, I'm looking around, I'm looking around, and I see a lot of, um, of, uh, um, I guess you on websites where you go on and you can download, uh, you know, whatever, whatever uh, clip or whatever they want to call it. You can download them. Some are free and some are, you know, not. You have to pay for them, like if you go to Envato or something like that. But uh, my issue is a lot of those introductions or a lot of the clips that they offer is I'm trying to think like uh, what I'm trying to describe for example uh, I would like something like right now I would like something that's automated or folly, not folly, that's what just made that shit up. Um, you know, the, something that depicts this time of year, like with the trees, you know, and the, and the leaves, and uh, you just, you know, I can smell somebody's uh, uh, fireplace. Well, of course you can't smell a fireplace on a video, but something along those lines. Now what I have been seeing are a lot of uh, intros that seem like they have to do with gaming and I did gaming back in 2009, 10, 11, and 12. <laughs> well I guess 2012 is when I first started. That's uh, when I started my YouTube channel, but you know, I was doing gaming well before that. Age of Empires was my favorite game, and they were out kind of like well, they used to come free. The game came free with your Microsoft, uh, you know, your software when if you buy the software or whatever, kind of like PlayStation does, they give you a free game when you buy a console. And so that was kind of like uh, how I ended up really into the games. And, you know, fact, Brittany is the person that told me about the game, Age of Empires. And, uh, you know, she showed me how to play. Honey, <laughs> it's a time management game. And what you do is, you know, you build up your, your army and your civilization so that you can ultimately take on other territories. It's kind of like Risk, if you remember that game, the board game Risk. It's similar to that, but it's not the same. Um, you know, in Risk, you roll dice to see who gets to fight who or whatever, uh, or you roll dice to take men something like that but in this particular game all you're doing is you're cultivating you're harvesting you're foraging um, and then of course as time goes on you get to advance to new uh, a new age with new technology and you know you just kind of build yourself up from there now the computer is your opponent. Now you can have other opponents, but I'm just thinking one-on-one -on -one here. Um, so, you know, you start building up your, your uh, civilization and eventually as the game goes on, 
you can decide if you built an army large enough you can decide to uh, to go and uh, you know invade another territory whatever's close to you if you got balls like that so uh, so yeah she introduced me to that game and uh, well after after some years you know I, I really started to become a gamer and I was in my I don't know late 30s yeah maybe early but I was somewhere in my 30s I know that I wasn't in my 40s and uh, and yeah so I would just play 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 and when YouTube came on the scene which was before 2012 now <coughs> let's make that clear I I saw YouTube but I didn't understand it and that's with anything that's new uh, you kind of have to learn about it you know I'm at this time I was calling myself techno girl uh, you know, I had gone ahead and trademarked my little, uh, my little icon, my little girl icon, uh, started technogirl.com and, and just put techno girl all over the internet. This was in 2012. Okay. So, uh, so at that time, Techno Girl was a gamer, but I was doing other things. I wasn't just playing games, but I was um, in my neighborhood. Uh, we had a lot of senior citizens. And so what I did was, uh, well, my aunt, let's go back a little bit more. My aunt lives in El Paso, and I was, um, you know, she didn't understand the internet all that well. She might have been in her, let's see, she was 88 when she passed away. So I'm gonna say uh, maybe, maybe she was in her uh, late, late 70s early 80s and she didn't know much about computers so i would help her over the phone um, she had to do her uh, emails and you know i showed her how to do her bank and you know she, at that time obama had just become president I do remember that because I remember her asking me to uh, buy her a book online and the book was called The Inauguration of Barack Obama. So in my mind, this book had a lot of information in it uh, that she wanted to learn. So I showed her how to purchase the book. Um, a side note, Amazon was on the scene <laughs> and I ordered it from Amazon. You know, they tell you about your history of ordering. And I went in my history, honey, I've been ordering from Amazon since 2005. Yeah, I know. I made them what they are today. <laughs> um, so yeah, back to my channel. So I learned how to uh, play my game uh, re and record it. Does that make sense? I still don't know what it's called. And I actually did it uh, several times. Uh, but I think it was Camstasia or Camtasia. Camstasia. Anyway. You put this program on first, then you turn on, you know, whatever you're trying to uh, record, you know, because the game is a, a 
another video, whatever. So you put it on Camstasia. Uh, no, you know, I take that back. You can do it when I said, you know, play videos or a lot of people use this particular program to do tutorials on, you know, computer related stuff. Like for example, if you know, you wanted to know how to use a certain kind of software, uh, Camstasia allows you to uh, show the, show what you're doing on screen. actually you playing the game or you doing you know tutorial whatever so uh so yeah i learned how to do that and wanted to be a part of youtube i just wanted to be in it i was you know into natural hair so i was watching all those girls uh i was into uh, healthy eating and you know I had a lot of channels that I was subscribed to for that but I wanted to I said dang I want to what can I record and post you know and see who joins or you know who watches so I decided to put up at that time my favorite game Pioneer Lands and I got more views on those videos than on any of the videos that I post now, which to me uh, makes me believe that only kids uh, watch videos on YouTube. Well, of course I know not only kids, but uh, you know, it's discouraging because I don't play that game anymore and I never passed a certain level. What does this say? This says Chris Hodges was here and Russ Bishop? All right. I mean, if you're gonna do graffiti, at least make sure that it's legible and people can read it. You just defile the, the sidewalk and it doesn't, and nobody knows what it says. So, whatever. Okay. Uh, so yeah, um, I did gaming. I'm not sure how long uh, how long I did that for, but you will notice, you'll notice on, uh, on my, uh, you know, my, my video list, uh, you'll notice there is a gap. There should be a gap between, uh, 2000, let's see, 2016, yeah, 2016, no, 2017, because I was posting those videos in 2017. Hmm, that's something I'm going to look into, because I want to know, uh, that my shit is accurate. Uh, wow. Is somebody going to stay here? Hopefully they all look like open grass. I would bring my dog over here. I don't know why they don't. I guess they don't want to walk that far. Well. It'll be time to go home. <laughs> I, you can see I want to stay out a little bit longer, <laughs> but um, all right, maybe you know this walk. Uh, this walk is not going to hurt anything, 
and we'll be back before you know it. Um, let's see. Um, something to talk about. Good thing I have music in the background. I'm having a hard time finding the new subject. Oh, I could tell you about, this is such a weird story. So in 2008, 2009, I had a surgery on my shoulder. They call it a bursectomy. I had bursitis. <laughs> when I say bursitis, I think about uh, Andy Griffith and Mayberry. You know, they say, oh, she got the bursitis and she's walking crooked. <laughs> but um, okay, anyway, so um, I had this surgery and it kept me incapacitated for about six weeks. So during that six weeks, not being able to drive because you know, I was in a sling um, and I had this uh, medication release vial attached to my arm and whenever I felt pain, I could just push the button and it would release morphine. I was pushing that button, honey. Anyway, <laughs> that's another story. But my story today is about a guy named Raheem. Um, now, <laughs> it's so weird how I met him. So I'm sitting around doing nothing, naturally binge watching Columbo or Andy Griffiths or Gold Powell, I don't know. But I'm binge watching, I'm, you know, watching TV and, and my phone rings, my cell phone rings. So I answer and, you know, he's like, Sheila, um, no, not Sheila. And he goes, you sound so pretty. It's gotta be Sheila. And I, you know, I was like, whatever. You have the wrong number, dude. So hung up the phone. A day later, he called again, but this time he didn't ask for Sheila. He said, I just wanted to hear your voice. So, all right. Now, keep in mind, this is not around the time when people were really getting scared about shit like this. So it didn't phase me. And, you know, I was much more fit then. And, uh, you know, I still know how to do what they taught me in the army. So. Uh, Needless to say, I wasn't worried. And I lived in the hood, so come on now. Anyway, so um, this went on for a couple more days. And then we started having conversations together. But what was interesting to me was that our conversations never really lasted long. You know, it's just enough time to throw in a few interrogation questions and oops, I gotta go. All right, I told you guys how we met. I find out maybe a month into our telephone conversations that this man is in jail. He's in some penitentiary somewhere. I think he said he was in, um, it's out by Palm Springs. I can't think of the name of it or whatever. And so, and so, uh, you know, I was a little, I couldn't believe it. And that, actually, I was like, you ain't got no phone in jail. Kind of, I couldn't believe it. So, you know, I, uh, I, you know, went along with the lie for a little while 
And then I begin to hear things, probably things that I had heard before and just discounted them. But now that he's telling me, hey, I'm in the penitentiary and yeah, I got a smartphone and you know, this is what we do, blah, blah. So I used to hear these like doors slamming. I hear people yelling. Uh, I think one time I heard somebody say lights out, you know, that kind of shit. So that's when I realized, okay, this man might be telling the truth. But then right around that time, it got to be very popular for inmates to have these cell phones. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> well, the reason why is, well, the reason why I guess I couldn't believe it is because I always thought that uh, being incarcerated meant that you are supposed to sit and think what the fuck you did and, you know, pretty much make a vow that you're not going to do it again because it's against the law. So, uh, believe it or not, I never met this guy and uh, he said he's been in jail since he was 18 years old. And Raheem is younger than me. He's, I think he's in his 40s. I'm, okay, I'm 53. So we'll say he's 45, 50, somewhere in there. And uh, <laughs> he's been in jail all his life. <coughs> he said he's never had an apartment. <coughs> Never lived anywhere but with his parents. Um, he said he's a twin. Um, he's got a son, so he must have been, you know, messing around, I guess, when all he was legal. But I sure did. Uh, I mean, I remembered that and. <laughs> I remember my daughter saying, um, saying, uh, you know, who is this guy? And, you know, she's really not concerned, but she was uh, probably just as surprised as I was. Like, mom, ain't nobody in jail got a phone. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, when I think about it, I think to myself that, um, you know, you're supposed to be in jail to um, rehabilitate. But if you got a cell phone in there and you kicking it with all your buddies and, you know, and shit like that, why would you want to go home? You know what I'm saying? I, why would you want to go home? It's You've been there all this time. So that's the only home you know. So maybe that's why they have, um, you know, serial, uh, uh, serial, they call them serial, serial um, offenders or something like that. Well, I guess, do they call them serial offenders? Multiple offenders? Maybe that's why them dudes keep going back to jail. Uh, I saw this really, um, uh, come on now, I saw this really um, powerful message on Facebook. Oh, they're having a yard sale over there. Look at that, guys. Wow. I don't have any cash. I wonder what they're selling. have to come back around. <laughs> Maybe later on. Who am I fool? I am not coming back out here. I get so, uh, I get so wrapped up in my day. You know, I sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I go in my apartment and I don't come out till the next day. Sometimes. Not all the time. But, you know, uh, 
I always say and have always said, um, rent or mortgage are the biggest bills we pay, you know, next to our cars. So for me, um, it's very important that I spend a substantial amount of time in this place. This is my apartment. This is my home. It's important to me that I spend a great deal of time there because I spend a great deal of money for it. So I want to be in it, enjoying it, getting the value from it. It is worth something. And like I said, getting the value from it is what's important to me. If I had a five bedroom house, I wouldn't leave that either. <laughs> but, you know, I'm saying all that to say that um, basically, if I'm spending a lot of money for it, then I need to know, I need to know the value. I'm not going to spend, because you know, some people spend two and three thousand dollars a month, you know, for where they live. And that's not even a house. Come on now. Seriously. <laughs> you got some apartments out here. It's two and three thousand dollars a month. And, you know, then you got to pay utilities. You have to eat. Um, you know, you, you got to pay for gas to get back and forth to work. And I don't know what gas prices are like right now, but I remember when they were high. And, you know, like I said before, you've got to get value out of what you're spending your money on. So, quite naturally, I feel like I want to spend a great deal of time at home. And, I mean, it's a... Uh, there's stuff going on at home, but nothing. I mean, it keeps me occupied. I have things to do so I can spend a great deal of time. Good morning. So I can spend a great deal of time at home. I enjoy it. Uh, <laughs> and it's funny because sometimes I don't even mean to. Uh, to spend all day at home, but I get so captivated and wrapped up in what I'm doing as far as um, editing, uh, researching, um, you know, and, and then learning more about what it is that I'm doing. And every once in a while, I, you know, start getting hungry and then I make a decision to maybe look up a video that shows me how to cook this, that, or whatever. And, you know, before I know it, it's dinner time. Then it's bedtime. So, uh, you know, I, I do, I do, um, I do enjoy my time at home. Um, I'm a bit of an introvert. I'm an introvert, not a bit of, <laughs> I don't like to go out and do things. Uh, I don't know if that's considered a mental issue or what, but uh, I just, I just don't. So, um, I don't. Um, for example, um, going to uh, visit my doctor is a bit of a chore for me because naturally I have to ride the bus or take an Uber. Uh, both ways are equally as troubling <laughs> as the other um, to me because, you know, I don't like to ride in the car with other people. Uh, 
Well, what I mean is, I I don't trust everybody's driving. I trust Brittany. Um, I'm forced to trust Lando because whenever he drives me, she's in the car. So I know he ain't gonna try to kill her. <laughs> me, I don't know. <laughs> I am a mother-in-law, so you know we got a bad reputation. Um, let's see. Oh, we were talking about finding value in you know what we pay for for our. She put my plane in. So I haven't heard that lady say nothing else on my Bluetooth, which means that that stupid runkeeper program stopped again. Because she should be telling me that I've walked a long way. Well, not a long way, but you know, I walked a decent long steps. Alright you guys, that is it for this video. I'm going to go in here and do my day, well continue my day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!